So mga Lodi, merong nag-comment dito na makukuha daw natin yung exact value of B kung gagamitin natin yung SX. Now sorry since I didn't bother to check and so tinry ko kanina and then lumabas talaga yung value sa choices. Ah by the way, salamat din pala sa nag-comment. Now ba diba, yung ginamit natin dito sa value of P based on structure, ginamitan natin ng MC over I. However, ah, pasensya, hindi ko na-check yung SX. Now usually kasi sa mga given, yung I over C is already accounted dito. But medyo may difference kasi. And so diba, we know na yung elastic section modulus is equal to I over C. And so itong C over I, papalitan natin. Kasi diba, if we'll take the reciprocal of this, this will become 1 over SX is equal to C over I. And so itong C over I, papalitan natin ng 1 over SX. And so instead of this, remove natin yung C, saka yung I, and then papalitan natin ng SX dito sa denominator. So yung SX natin is 1510 times 10 to the 3. And then mm cubed. And so diba, yung hinahanap dito is the value of P. And then alam kasi natin na yung W is 12.2. So retype natin, 0.66 times 250 is equal to WL squared over 8. So 12.2 times 8 squared divided by 8. And then plus our unknown which is P times the length divided by 4. And then convert natin times 1000 squared para maging Newton mm. And then dito sa baba, we have 1510 times 10 to the 3. Ah, by the way, this is 12.2. And so, solving P, ito na yung lalabas. 75.775. Or simply, uh, P is equal to 75.8. And so, our answer is already exact. And so, kung lalabas to sa board exam ulit, always check C over I, saka yung S. And so, just to recap, yung FB, pwede rin tong maging M over S. And then, yung subscript depende sa bending. Since yung bending is about the x-axis, we'll use sx. And so remember this one.